Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? This lovely morning. It's earlier than normal, can you tell? Because <clears throat> it's dark. I have my uh, daughters off on a course and so I've got to go and take my grandchildren to play group. So, uh, going to be slightly shorter than normal, but I always expect them to be slightly shorter than normal because I can never think of anything to talk about and yet I always seem to manage to think of something to talk about. So The, uh, the old Pixel 2's uh, coping quite well. I don't know whether I would have liked the XL. But like I say, the, the larger version of the Pixel 2, I think, uh, was manufactured by this other company that sort of let me down. So I didn't want to get that, although, anyway, we've been over that. We've been over that, haven't we, Angry? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just thinking, you know, it's like when you're trying to write an article and you can't get started, the best thing to do is just write down any old rubbish. And then you'll, you'll, you'll put something down and then you'll delete the rubbish and then you'll be started, so start you know that's old mouse said didn't he the every journey starts with a single step and I don't think he was sort of I think that's where he was trying to get at wasn't he He was trying to get out that you'll never go anywhere if you don't first put one foot forward in front of the other and then who knows where you're going to end up there's very much the theme of these podcasts these Maoist podcasts the only um, <clears throat> the problem is my face is very red and it's not like that in real life. It's actually, uh, you know, it makes me look like a alcoholic. And uh, the the problem is that um, Samsung brought out a phone. <clears throat> Apple's brought out a phone, which is sort of very sort of, you know, it's the battle of the cameras. You know, who can be most realistic? Who can who can sort of get the most customers on the basis of? The competitions moved into the color, what they call the color space, which is a real thing. And uh, and professional photographers and uh, cinematographers and that, you know, th worry about color a lot. And uh, what the public likes is is super saturated colors. They like uh, Mario Kart, Nintendo type reds and blues and greens. Whereas real life, as you can tell, and I can tell from looking around me, is very, very much more subtle and is all in the, at the moment, it's all basically in the very sort of dark brown and green uh, range. And so <clears throat> what happened was Google wanted to be more naturalistic and more lifelike with their photos, but they were losing out to uh, iPhone and the Samsung Galaxies because who, who, who super saturate all their colors. And everyone says, wow, look at that, look at that fantastic, you know, HDR, high definition photo uh, of where, where everything looks like it's, do you remember those old pictures we used to paint by numbers where you had like 16 colours? And, uh, uh, you know, you'd paint a cottage and the cottage would like, whoa, 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 you know, right in your, right in your face, no subtlety. And uh, the, that's what the trend has been for the last year or so, it's been these really, really hyper-saturated, high dynamic range pictures. And uh, Google said, no, this is not authentic, you know, we're going to offer a more authentic experience. And then they found that actually the public loves it. They want bright colours, you know, they want, they want everything to be larger than life and look like it was every picture to be taken as though it was uh, in, in, in brilliant daylight. <coughs> so they've sort of saturated the colours a bit, but I think you've got the option to turn it off a bit, which I have tried to do. Oh, this light's on is on the by the way because my boots open because uh, believe it or not, I'm actually running a bit late, and so I've just uh, banged the boot down. It's shut, but it's just not closed. If you see what I mean, it's latched, but it's not watertight. But that's good enough. Oh, um, oh, look, there's four swans flying south for the winter there. Actually, they're flying, uh, they're flying northeast, so I'm a bit worried about them. But definitely four swans. This is a bit of a wildlife sanctuary where I am around here. It's sort of the wetlands. And uh, get a lot of, uh, apart from that big pile of old tyres there that some diddy coy has uh, dumped. So where was I? Oh yes, talking about absolutely nothing. 
Yeah, so I'm going to have to get involved in colour, the colour space in post-production, which is just the last thing I need, isn't it? I mean, you know, I go to work, I've got a patient's waiting for me, and then and then uh, I have to uh, get a video out, usually by 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning if I've got all the right leads and haven't taken them home or put them in the car or something. And then uh, <clears throat> I've got to do titles and uh, cutting and fading in and fading out and an occasional bit of bleeping. Actually, <clears throat> if, you, uh, if you ever do do videos and things like that, that's why they do so many takes because post-production is very hard. You know, if I make, if I mention someone's name, who are, and I think they have like a reasonable expectation of privacy, um, I have to take their name out, and that even that in itself is a problem because uh, uh, you have to sort of scan back through the file, try and find out exactly where it is. And seeing as these videos are all pretty much the same, it's not like you know I can say, oh yeah, that was when we were filming in the field, so we look in the field part to bleep the name out. They, I have to like really sort of go and remember when it was. And uh, but one tip is a lot a lot goes on behind the scenes in in TV and film. So for example, when I say to you like good morning, good morning, good morning, the camera might have been running for a minute at that point, but that all gets cut off the beginning. And in fact, you have to cut some off the beginning. Oh, two magpies, that's good. And uh, and uh, also towards the end, you see now that my fantastic smile right at the end is uh, I don't sort of smile and cut it off. I have to sort of smile and you have to sort of smile. You know on the television where they smile and... Oh, sorry. Death junction. I have to concentrate on getting out in the traffic. They sort of smile at the camera and the camera doesn't cut away and they keep their, like this fixed smile at the camera. And you think, right, okay, cut, cut. <clears throat> well, that's what I do at the end of these. Except that I cut the thing off, you know? I always... Uh, you know, you cut it back to uh, what you think is reasonable, you know, a reasonable pause, like a second or so after I've smiled. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm a whiz with the old scissors and the film on the, the floor, you know, in the old cutting room. <coughs> and the cellar tape. But um, a little trick, if you're gonna do them yourself, is if you make, if you cock something up, right, try and remember what you were saying when you cocked it up and then stop and this is quite difficult but stop talking for about 20 seconds don't just immediately start again and do it and say oh you know okay take two blah stop for about 20 seconds because and then and then start again because what will happen is when you get that uh, piece of video up in your editor you'll be able to see straight away where to make that cut because the audio, the amplitude will be zero because it'll be, it'll be quiet, there'll be no talking. So you can go straight to it because you can see it. So, and what you do obviously is you can quite easily cut that um, 20 seconds of silence out at the same time as you cut the mistake out. So as far as the audience is concerned, it's seamless. Right, I'm nearly there. I said it was gonna be a short one, didn't I? She only lives around the corner. But um, I haven't really talked about anything dental today, but I'll make a note of that so that anyone who tunes in for this knows there's no dental. It's all it's all like video editing tips and stuff like that, and a, and a long drawn out review of the Pixel Two mobile phone. Yeah, oh, you might be interested in that. Who knows? We've all got to buy a phone, haven't we? Unless you like uh, Apple. Apple <clears throat> designed for people who can work a toaster but not a VCR. All right. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. See, I told you, I told you.